Next season, MVP, 60 plus wins. Uh, Nelly took this personal. Like, we weren't even supposed to be in the playoffs, but he said if we get in the playoffs, we're going to play Dallas and we're going to beat them. <laughs> and that's all I care about in life. Yeah, and he quit. Yeah. The I, I don't know, I was like, quit's a big well, win. Well, he might have checked out after he, he didn't give a but, damn after that. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that season, again, huge 65 wins, 67 wins, 68, 68 what, wins. 67 or 67? Yeah, 67, yeah, 67, 67. wins. You're the MVP. Uh, one verse eight. Uh, what is your thought going into that series versus because we actually played you guys well that season, although we were out of the mix at the time. We played you guys well. Yeah. Uh, so we're in 06. Like I said, I wasn't that frustrated. I, of course, I was a little disappointed, but I was like, I'm in my prime next year. We're coming in where we have the same it. team. We're going to roll. Start the season off 0 and 4. Um, win in a double overtime in, in Phoenix. We're about to go on five and we win and then roll the rest of the season. It was just one of those roles where like, we were on the road somewhere, we're down in the fourth quarter and we just looked at each other and Jet was like, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna come mm -hmm. back and win this. We're gonna get some big stars when we need them and we're gonna just find some offense and, and give the ball to me and Jet and we'll, we'll make it happen. So there was, we had a, a crazy amount of confidence through, during that whole season. And then here come the Warriors, and uh, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, we didn't love playing you guys. I gotta say, it's uh, that was a, that was a tough matchup. That was a, yeah. You could laugh. I, I wish I could he laugh. Said, he said, we didn't love playing you guys. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I could laugh. Now, we, you were you guys were a, a tough matchup for us. Not only did Nelly know every every strength of ours since he coached us. Um, and he he knew exactly what to do. Bro, I had he tape had, on you. Just you, your moves. Just I'm talking about thirty minutes of just your tape, bro. Well, there were a lot of moves. It was always going left. Yeah. You always said you can only go, <laughs> you go spin, left. You can only go left. And you put no, moves. but you also had a lot of teams. Obviously, had the blueprint, but they didn't have the personnel to pull it off. Yeah, you guys had a small team that always gave me problems and other problems. You guys were fronting in the post. Usually, I can catch on anybody. We had a tough time getting the ball to me, pass it, first of all. Then every time I, I drove one way and I spun we back, oh, there came the trap. He's going to spin. The, he's going to spin. I like shooting out of my spin. Yeah. So then when I, we didn't have a great shooting team or we didn't have a great passing team. So both of these things, you guys just just took advantage of. It was it was tough. I couldn't stop the bleeding. I didn't, I didn't shoot well. I mean, that was... That was probably my worst playoff series uh, that I've played, and all the credit, obviously, to you guys. And that was that was tough. And then I took 07 almost harder than 06 because you know uh, maybe I had such high expectations. We beat the Spurs like three out of four that year. Yeah. In my mind, I'm saying we're we're winning the championship mm -hmm. that year. And and I had so much uh, made so much pressure on myself, and then maybe maybe I was even froze up a little bit too much. I, I, I didn't play loose against you guys. I didn't have fun, and so that was that was one of, that was one of the toughest. I felt like almost embarrassed for for a couple of weeks. I didn't want to leave my house. I didn't want to go to the MVP ceremony, take the MVP. You know, usually back in the days, the MVP ceremony was during the second round mm -hmm. during the, the pregame. We didn't have a game anymore. Some I had to put a suit on and go down there, and it was just it was just awkward. I didn't want to be there. So uh, yes, every time I see my MVP trophy now at home, it's unfortunately see, uh, in uh, my Steve mind. Jackson I think of you guys. Smiling. Well, I think of all the smoke when I see my uh, my <laughs> dumb. Dumb. Uh, dumb. What's well, the? Did well you throw a chair or something at the wall in Oracle? What was yeah, because I've, I've never heard this story. Yeah, yeah. how would that happen? So I'm. I'm, I was I was just pissed off. I, I'm not quite sure how it happened. Somebody said it was a trash can. Uh, or somebody said it was a chair. I don't think a trash can could actually make a hole like this. So I, I can't, actually can't remember how it happened. But yeah, afterwards, somebody said, yeah, there you made a hole. a hole in the wall. And, and they then, hung uh, a We Believe jersey up next to like some assholes. Yeah, oh, yeah they did that. <laughs> it was there forever. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was there they got forever. the new building. It was there forever, which was great. I mean, you guys had a, had a fun team. I think, a well you know, with all due respect, you winning MVP and as good as your team, you came back with a different, you were different the next year, though, we felt like. Like, when we like. We you helped know. you. You came back a different dirt. Well, you know, as it is in life, you have to learn from, from tough situations, from tough, tough moments. And I felt like. 
you know, you guys pushed me to, to be better a little bit with my back to the basket. You know, that was, I mentioned it earlier, I always liked to face, like to drive, and it's been, it was just, it was a little too predictable. So, um, you know, I said, you have to add, you have to add more to your game. You have to work hard this summer and be, be a better, be a better leader and more complete player. So uh, I got a lot more comfortable, you know, posting up then and, and even if it was free throw line or mm. or down the box and i would never even still then i would not out muscle you and get to the basket but i was more comfortable there operating in that area and and shooting over smaller guys mm -hmm. shooting fadeaways and then the one legger came and so mm -hmm. i think yeah you guys forced me to to get back in the lab and and get better and, and push and and i always say without the disappointments in 06 and 07 i wouldn't yep. have been the closer in 11 mm -hmm. i think that's that's very true sure. you, you have to go through tough times and, and and learn from 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 tough mistakes and and, and get better and so 11 is crazy that was uh you guys pushed me to be to be better